guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my recommendations for the upcoming VIB sale through Sephora. Now, I haven't actually heard anything about when exactly it's going to be this year, but inevitably it's pretty much always in the beginning of November. It's a semi-annual sale and they pretty much always have it in the spring and the fall, usually in April and then once again in November. So I know it's going to be coming up soon, so I wanted to share some recommendations with you guys. Some of the products that I'm going to talk about are products I already own that I think you guys will really love too if you check them out. And then this is also going to be kind of my wish list where I'm going to share the products that I'm going to be checking out for the VIB sale personally. So let's get started. I have a little bin here of a few things that I want to talk about first. Once again, these are the products that I actually own, obviously, that I think you guys would really love too. And then for like the second part, I'm going to go through my wish list and I'm going to be using the Sephora app for that. If you guys don't have the app, or you can do this on the website too, there is a little feature called your loves list, which is basically your wish list. You can go through and heart products on the site and it'll add them to this list. I actually utilize this feature a lot when I'm shopping to remind me of like things I want to check out. And I'm pretty sure you can actually like use a link to to your wish list. So I'll have that link down below if you guys want to check it out because I mean I'm always adding random stuff. I'm not going to be talking about everything on there in this video. But anyways, the first product I want to recommend is the Beauty Blender. Now I think their VIB sale is a really great excuse to pick up the Beauty Blender. Whether you're like a diehard fan of it or you've never tried it before, it's always good to get a discount on them because I mean it's an expensive little sponge. I'm sure you guys have all heard of the Beauty Blender but it's just a little pink sponge that you soak underwater and use it damp to apply makeup. And it's just really flawless. It does all your blending work for you and everything. And it's really easy. And they also have a set this year for holidays. They come out with them a couple times a year, I find, where it's a really good value. I'll insert like a picture of the set this year here. But in the set this year, you get the regular Beauty Blender, the Beauty Blender Pro, the Micro Mini Beauty Blender, or whatever it's called, and then also a setting mist, and it's all for $49 Canadian with a $78 value. Once again, whether you're a diehard fan of Beauty Blender or you've never tried them before, it's a good set to splurge on. The next couple products I want to talk about are a couple things from Clinique. Now, I know to a lot of us, we kind of look past Clinique. It seems kind of like dated to a lot of us younger people, I feel like. It seems like, oh, that's like the makeup brand, like my mom or like my grandma. War. But within the past couple of years, they've come out with some really nice, really like modern and kind of like up to date products in their line that are really amazing. The first one are their Cheek Pop blushes, which let's start off by saying they're adorable. They're in this clear packaging with like a little Gerber daisy kind of embossed into it. They're super pretty. I only own one of these and this is in the shade Ginger Pop, but I'm definitely going to be checking out more shades through the VIB sale. They started off with four shades when they launched about a year and a half ago and since then they've really expanded the range and the one I have my eyes on in particular is Melon Pop. I watch a lot of Shan XO's videos and her vlogs in particular and she always wears that one and it looks so nice. And these blushes are just so nice because they're really that perfect, not shimmery but just like satiny smooth kind of finish where they just give such a nice glow to your skin and they'd be especially nice on mature skin. I know a lot of women as we age are told only wear matte textures, never wear glitter, never wear shimmer, it looks terrible, it'll settle into your fine lines and accentuate signs of aging. But in my opinion when you apply like really really matte kind of chalky textures onto your skin, it can age you even more. So these are really nice for mature skin as well because like I said, they're that perfect in between matte and glittery. And then the next one isn't going to be a surprise. It is the Clinique Clinique Pop Lip Colors. I recently hauled this and I've talked about it quite a bit. I bought the shade Beige Pop and I have been wearing it nonstop and I've really fallen in love with this formulation of lip color. They're so moisturizing on your lips and they're just so opaque. It's definitely another thing that I'm going to be checking out more shades in. Next up, I wanna recommend the Hourglass Ambient lighting powders. You guys know I love these and I'm obsessed with them. They also have a really nice holiday palette this year where you get a couple of the blushes, a bronzer, and then I believe three of just the original ambient lighting powders. I have Mood Light here and then Ethereal Light. These are just super subtle highlighters that you can use applied as a normal highlight or all over the face to just give a really nice soft lit from within kind of glow. I feel like I've talked about these a lot on my channel, but they are definitely worth the hype and worth the money. Next product is the Creme de Rose Lip Balm, which I mentioned quickly in, I think, my September favorites. And I said that if you guys want this, you should hold off to the VIB sale because this is a really pricey lip balm, but it's really amazing quality. It has a light rose scent and then a really nice kind of light pink tinge and it just makes your lips look healthy and plump and it is just a wonderful lip balm so if you've heard a lot about this but you didn't want to splurge on it in the past 
definitely recommend picking it up during the sale to save a little bit of money and that way you can see if you like it. Then I have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have a whole video on this foundation and it has become one of my new favorites. Even though I have oily skin, this is geared more towards dry skin primarily, but I love this foundation. I'll have that video linked if you guys want to hear more about it. Oh, also for highlights, I almost forgot. I have the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. Now, I've talked about this a lot as well, but this is my go-to, like, everyday highlight. And this is a little sample size, which I don't know if you can tell, but I've pretty much completely used this up. And I probably am going to repurchase it during the sale. It's just that perfect highlight in between, like, the ambient lighting powders where it's not quite so subtle, but then it's not as intense as, like, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. It's just totally beautiful and perfectly appropriate for everyday wear. And despite the name, it isn't matte. I don't know why they call it matte. Maybe because it's, like, not shimmery, but it's not matte at all. It does still give a really nice glow to your skin. And now for this one, I'm not recommending this product in particular. I mean, unless you like it and you want it, but I recommend checking out a fragrance during the VIB sale. Because I mean, when else are you going to get a discount on high-end perfumes? This is the Givenchy Dahlia Divin, which you guys know I have been obsessing over. But I mean, what better excuse to pick up a fragrance that you've had your eye on for a while than getting a discount on it in the VIB sale? All right, so moving on to my kind of wish list portion of this video. Like I said, I'm going off of my loves list on the Sephora app. And as I talk about these products, I'm probably going to insert like a screenshot of the product on the Sephora website just because I don't really like talking about products and not like having them to show you guys while I talk about them. So I'll insert some pictures so you guys know what I'm talking about and so you can actually see the products with me. The very first thing I want to talk about is the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix Eyeshadow Palette. Now I'm sure if you guys have Instagram, you have seen this a lot on social media. To be honest, there's not a ton of holiday palettes and like sets that have really grabbed my interest this year, but this one definitely has. It is a palette that basically is meant to mimic the color wheel. So on the outside you have this beautiful ring of these like really vibrant and intense colors which I know I don't wear a lot of bright shadows in my videos, but I have a lot of bright eyeshadows like the Urban Decay Electric palette and a lot of other palettes like that. And I really love them. I used to always wear like really bright neon eyeshadows, so this palette really speaks to me. But then I also really like that on the inside they have a wheel of neutral shadows. It really gives you everything you need in this palette. Like in the center there's like a really nice black shadow, a white shadow, there's some transition shades. It really just gives you everything that you need to create a really nice eye look. Cap on D's shadows tend to be hit or miss. I find they've been getting better, but like last year's holiday palette, for instance, some of the shadows in that were terrible and then some of them were amazing. So this is something I'm going to have to swatch in person and really make a final opinion on. The next couple products are from the brand Too Cool for School and Sephora has recently had a big focus on Korean beauty brands and they've really been introducing a lot of new brands. And this brand has really caught my attention with their Egg Mousse products, specifically their Egg Mousse Soap Facial Cleanser and their Egg Mousse Pack, which is like a face mask. The cleanser in particular, I'm really interested to try. It's $24, so it's not super expensive. And it says it actually has egg white mousse in it, so it's supposed to be this really frothy, foamy, like whipped kind of consistency. So I'm definitely going to want to check that out. Next, Makeup Forever this year has two sets of their new Artist Plexi glosses. Now the one I have my eyes on is the smaller one that has four glosses. I've been wanting to try these glosses since I launched back in the spring, and I just haven't picked any of them up. And so when I saw this set, I knew that it was perfect. It's one that just has four shades, and they're all kind of in like the nude pink, like everyday wearable kind of category. There is a larger one that's quite expensive, and it has some of the more unique shades, like the purple and the black. But I definitely want to get my hands on the smaller four-pack of them this year. Then from L'Occitane, there is an amazing looking duo where you get their almond shower oil and then also their almond milk veil body lotion. The shower oil is amazing. I had it last winter and it is hands down my favorite product to shave your legs with. Leaves your skin so hydrated and I love the smell of it. It's just like a really sweet, light, gourmand, almond kind of fragrance. I haven't tried the Milk Veil body lotion, but if it smells the same, I'm sure I'm going to love it just as much. I don't know if I'm going to be doing an online order, so if I can't find this set in stores, I'll probably just get the shower oil, but I love the idea of this set. Something else I want to check out is more of the Makeup Forever Artist shadows. I have a few little trios of them already, and I absolutely love them. They have that gel to powder finish, and they're just, just amazing to work with. They're so easy to blend and so pigmented. And I specifically want to check out their Artist Palette Volume 1, which is the Nudes Palette. This has been out for a little while, and I've looked at it quite a few times, so I think I'm finally going to splurge and pick it up this time around. The product I've had my eye on for a while is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Now this is like a really peachy, sand 
time any kind of concealer. I've heard it has like a very, very thick consistency, but I've heard it is amazing for brightening the under eyes, and I'm all about that right now, so that's another product I want to check out finally. And then there's a couple cheek palettes I've been eyeing too. The first is the NARS Stephen Klein Collaboration One Shocking Palette. One shocking moment cheek palette. Okay, it was loading. NARS pretty much always comes out with a little blush palette for the holidays, usually in collaboration with a designer. And this one just looks like it'd be perfect for travel. Like, you get a matte highlight and contour shade, a bronzer, which I think is Laguna. Yeah, it's Laguna. And then you get four really nice looking blush shades that are all very unique and different. I've also been eyeing the Kevin Aquan Contour Book, The Art of Sculpting and Defining Kit. These sets are both really pricey, though, so I'm going to take a look at both of them and see if I really want either of them and kind of take a look at them in person. I don't know if they'll have the Kevin Aquan one in person at my Sephora, but, but I'm probably not going to get both of those. I'll need to make some some big decisions. And the last thing I'm wanting to check out is more of the Giorgio Armani cosmetic line because one of the Sephora's in my city recently started carrying them in store and I've never been able to look at their products in person and they are obviously a very high-end expensive line so I didn't want to just kind of blindly order them online even though I can return them in stores. So I'm definitely going to look and see what the brand has to offer and kind of check out some things. So if you have tried anything from the Giorgio Armani line, comment down below and let me know whether you love them or hated them. Let me know what your thoughts on the line are. But yeah, that was all of my recommendations for the upcoming Sephora VIB sale for fall 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you check out any of my recommendations and also let me know if you have any recommendations for me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!